discover what happens. You have to say yes to everything. Yes. Do you need a ride? On that thing? <laughs> when every question... Can I borrow a couple bucks? Are we gonna fight or what? Would you like to throw loose your bridal shower? ...has the same answer. Yeah. Sure. Why not? That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love that. That is sweet, Carl. Thanks, Fish. This Christmas... I never had a Red Bull before, but I had a Red Bull last night. I really like Red Bull. Yeah, you seem a little hyper. Oh, Say yes. To lie. The world's a playground. But somewhere along the way, everyone forgets it. Excuse me, could I? Absolutely. Was I chewing gum before? Jim Carrey. Another bump of hot sauce. You guys are really into this yes thing. <laughs> yes, man. Would I like to increase the size of my... <clears throat> right. Like, I need that. This is my review for Yes Man, released in 2008. Like most, I was worried about Yes Man. It looked like a complete copy of Liar Liar, which in my opinion is one of the funniest films ever made and in my top 20 of all time. Maybe it would have seemed less like it if it wasn't Jim Carrey in the role of Yes Man, the similar story aside. However, I can say after seeing Yes Man, I was pleasantly surprised. Yes, it is fairly similar to Liar Liar, that cannot be denied. It, however, isn't as close as you'd think and is definitely worth a watch and very funny in its own right. Kerry, who I do think as of late is aging badly when it comes to comedy, for instance, Fun with Dick and Jane, was pretty bland. Here, he is back on form. Zoe Deschanel is as charming as ever, giving the movie a lot of heart and soul. Reese Darby, who you may know as Murray from Flight of the Concords, pretty much steals every scene he's in, especially when he's dressed as Ron from Harry Potter or a Sparta warrior. There's plenty of laugh out loud moments, such as the old lady scene, which is pretty tough to watch. If you've seen the film, you know what I mean. The movie didn't click with me straight away. It took a while to get into the flow. For instance, Kerry saying no to his phone may be the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Comedy is so subjective. It all depends what you like, but it made me laugh enough. Even some little moments, such as the homeless guy making Kerry drive him all the uh, drive him in his car for miles, only to get out and jump in a bush. All in all, it's not a comedy classic, but it's for sure a return to form, return to comedy form for Jim Carrey, an enjoyable, very funny at times movie that I recommend to anyone up for a good laugh. <laughs>